So maybe you're facing a lot of issues on the iOS 26 beta 1 and you might be planning to downgrade. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how exactly you can and without losing your data. First of all, you need to do a little bit of settings. First of all, make sure your phone is like more than 50%. Mine is not, but make sure your does. And once you do that, go into the settings, go to your iCloud over here, get into the iCloud over here and make sure to turn on the iCloud backup from here. Like turn it on from here. Let me lower down the brightness a bit. Turn it on here and backup now. Tap on the backup now. As once it is completed, now it's time for the next step. Go back from here and see what apps are important for you. Maybe iMessage, Notes, whatever. Turn the iCloud on for every other app by going into it. Turn it on and sync the iPhone. For example, over here, turn this on and sync now and save everything in your iCloud. Now, once you do that, what, what you need to do is go back from here, go back from here too, and go into the Find My. Now, once you are into your Find My, get to over here into Find My and turn off the Find My iPhone. If you are seeing this just like I am seeing this, what you need to do is simply go back from here, go all the way back, go all the way into the privacy and security, go all the way down and make sure Solon device protection is off. Once you off it, once this is off, you will be able to turn off the Find My iPhone. Now, after doing all of these, now let's move to the desktop and see what is the next step. Okay, so once you are on your desktop, it can be your PC, Windows PC, or it can be Mac, it can be anything. Um, for both of operating system, the process is quite same. What you need to what you need to do is you need to install iTunes on your Mac or Windows. And you can download iTunes from this website, apple.com slash iTunes. And the next thing is you need to download iOS firmware. So for that, what we will do is we will go to ipsw.me. All the links are in the description. Once we are over here, we need to select the iPhone. And from this menu, we are going to select like whatever our iPhone is. In my case, it is iPhone 11. So I'm going to install the iPhone 11. I'm going to get into the iPhone 11. And when I'm over here, here are the signed IPSW available. And for now, this date, until this date, um, iOS 18.5 is the only option that is available over here. These are unsigned. I cannot install them. So once over here, tap on this. And from here, tap on the download section. And it will, you know, start downloading. Save it. And now it is downloading. It is around 8 gigs. So it is going to take a bit of a time. So once you have downloaded everything, it's time to plug your iPhone into your computer. Just do this and, you know, unlock your device. Maybe you have to do that. So once you're over here, this is your screen over here. Continue. It is syncing. I don't want to sync it. Just cancel it. Okay, get started. This is over here. This is everything. Um, now there are two options available. As you can see, it is iOS 26. Check for the update, restore iPhone. Now check for the update will not work because we are go going from one big um, firmware to another big firmware. So we are gonna use the restore iPhone. So on your keyboard, tap shift button, actually hold the shift button. So tap and hold the shift button for the Windows and tap and hold the uh, command button for the Mac users. I'm sure this is that the command button. So hold shift or command and tap on restore iPhone. For you, it will open Explorer. It is not showing me because I'm not planning to download. For you, it will open Explorer. And from there, you can select the file that you just downloaded and it will start restoring your iPhone. So once uh, everything is done, um, when you like your device rebooted after, you know, installing the newer version, what you need to do is you make sure you put your same um, Apple ID and from here you go for the backup option, select the backup option and choose that from the iCloud and your device will, you know, install everything that was there before. And this way you will be able to downgrade without, you know, um, deleting your stuff. Yes, you have to install everything, every apps. This is how this works. And this way you will be able to do that. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Peace out.